Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw a pipe with a flange and also with the incoming pipe at any degrees that you want. So for my example, I'm going to draw one at 45 degrees uh, just to show you how to, connect, to join the two pipes with each other. So to start with, I'm just going to draw a, a pipe size of let's say 10 millimeters or 20 in this case because I'm using the radius and then I'm going to draw a flange just a simple one not with a lot of details just for the sake of this example and then I'm going to draw the bolt circle I'm going to draw the bolt sizes I'm, all make, I'm making all of this a random size because this is just to show the the way to join the two pipes or make a joint of two pipes. So I'm going to use the array function on the bolt hole. And I'm going to leave it at the default settings of six items, 360 degrees. And that should be the, the basic or the default settings when you open the array function. So I'm going to delete the bolt circle and then i'm going to make this a 3d with the press pull function and i'm going to give it a thickness of five no oh, that's too much i'm going to give it a thickness of two millimeters so to draw the pipe i'm going to use a cylinder i'm going to use the top radius i'm going to move it out to the size of the, the flange just give it any height that i want so there's no specific dimension to that and to make it a bit thicker I'm going to use a thickness of one millimeter for this pipe so I'm going to move this up one millimeter so there you have just a cylinder that's a millimeter bigger than the diameter that you left on the flange so now I'm going to select these two objects I'm going to use 3D Rotate to rotate them. Now I'm going to mirror the flange. Use the Modify Mirror. Use that as a center point. So as you can see it has mirrored it but not to the edge of the pipe. So I'm going to move it over to the edge of the pipe. Okay, so the next step is the important one to join two pipes. So I'm just going to get rid of those. So I'm going to use the same size pipe. Just copy it exactly at the same place. And I'm going to select one of these. And I'm going to rotate. Let's start with a 45 degree. So as you can see, the two pipes are cutting each other at a 45 degree angle. So to get rid of the extra piece of pipe that I don't need, or if you want to, you can just move it up. So I'm going to show you two examples. I'm going to select the center point there. And get the center point there as well. So what you can do is you can move this up to the center of that line I've just drawn. So if you want to see the line, you can switch to the 2D wireframe. And you can see the line that I've just drawn inside of that cylinder. So I moved that to exactly the center. So you can use the same length or what you can do alternatively. Let's just go back to where I moved the pipe. Let's say you only want this length. You can make it any length you want. But let's say I want to use that length. I'm going to use the slice function. And slice this pipe exactly at the center and remove the extra piece so if you switch to 2d wireframe now you can see that that pipe is sliced in the center of the other one so i'm going to join these two cylinders by using the union function selecting both of them selecting union and now you can see it's selected the two or it's joined the two pipes without leaving any ex, ex, uh, extra pieces. So for now, it's not a pipe as yet. If you look in realistic, it's a 
cylinder. So to get it to a pipe, you select it, you go to solid, and select the shell function. You select the object you want to make a shell of, select the faces that you want to move or remove, and then enter to to uh, select the function or to go into the second part of the function and I want to make the offset or the thickness of the pipe I want to make it one millimeter as stated previously hit enter and it's created a pipe of both of these cylinders so the final step remaining is to copy that flange using the center point of the pipe copy it to the other pipe selecting the flange again selecting rotate selecting the blue one as the axis you want to rotate around and as mine is set the polar tracking is set to 45 degrees that's why it stopped at that 45 degree angle and as you can see now, there is one pipe joining the other one perfectly with no excess pieces or any difficulty in joining them. So I'm going to select everything and select Union, right click and then you have one piece. So if you want to build a whole pipe assembly, you can draw all the pieces out and just put them together from here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.